got this guy from the Forum of Christian Leaders answering the question, how is a Christian understanding of intelligent design a better basis for science than naturalism? So basically it's saying, why is intelligent design better than evolution? Let's check this out. Well, there's a simple way to understand that, and it's to realize that allowing for the possibility of design, uh, of the action of intelligence or mind, interacting with nature and leaving its effects on nature, that doesn't take away from a scientist any tool that he might need to understand the world. First of all, it does take away a tool. It takes away evolution. He's trying to say that evolution is invalid. Now this is actually what the guy is saying. He says, it doesn't take away a tool that you need to understand the world. So this tool that he is proposing, intelligent design, is just saying a miracle happened. It's not giving any explanation of any kind. It's just sticking a miracle in the place of any valid explanation of how life got here or how life changes over time. Um, and really, the, the metaphor of a toolkit is appropriate. I have tools. This is the truth. I have tools in my garage at home. I don't remember what they're for. But I don't let my wife throw them away, uh, which she may want to do, because I may need them someday. Uh, and I'll remember what they were for, and by that point, they're in a landfill, okay? The only way the metaphor of a toolkit is valid is if you are throwing some of the tools out. Intelligent design is supposed to replace evolution. Christians don't believe evolution took place, so they needed a replacement for it, and that replacement is a miracle happened, intelligent design. It doesn't have any explanatory power, any predictive power. It doesn't do anything for us. So the, the scientists confronting a puzzle in the world may be able to explain it using just physical processes, which God made. You know, they're, they're very regular, we can describe them mathematically, but the scientists may be confronting a puzzle that can't be explained by physical processes alone, for which you need the notion of a mind or a designing intelligence to arrange matter in such a way that it acts for a specific functional goal. Okay, so he just said that there are processes that are very regular and can be described mathematically. He's talking about evolution but there may be some things that can't be explained for which you need a mind to have made a miracle happen. Well, I'm sorry, we don't need a miracle to describe any of this stuff. It doesn't matter if God made everything or not. If he did, he did it by natural means, by way of evolution. If it hadn't happened that way, we would have a billion glaringly obvious examples of something that just couldn't have happened any other way but intelligent design. But we don't have any examples of that. Not one. Until you demonstrate that an intelligence can create life, or until you prove that there was absolutely no natural means by which life could have changed over time, you have no basis for your belief. And even then, I'm going to have reservations. Uh, bottom line, teleology or the, the view that there is an intellect behind the world that we see gives you additional explanatory tools to deal with any puzzle you might come across in nature without taking away any of the other tools that you already had. Uh, and even if I were an atheist, I'm not, but even if I were, I would want the freedom to use that notion in explanation should I come across a puzzle that calls for it. As a skeptic, as a scientist, I don't count anything out. If I ever come across a glaringly obvious example of something that God made, without question, I will accept that after peer review. But what this guy is asking us to do is to put this ID tool in our toolbox. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit in the toolbox unless you take evolution out. I can't take evolution out because it's a fact. We have evidence of this. It doesn't matter anyways. I don't want it in my fucking toolbox. It's worthless to me. If I ever come across a need for that tool, 
I will know it's there, but I seriously doubt I'm ever going to need it.